guys start to get Oh yeah, we, yeah. I'm just saying the relationship started right at the official visit because Nate's actually my uh, my roommate now. Oh really? Yeah. So after the visit, we talked about it. Me and him are roommates now, so that visit uh, helped shape a lot of relationships and uh, started for, started for that bond. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'm just curious because I, I mean I go to school so most leases for apartments start. How do you guys find a place to live? I, I don't know how the the people upstairs did it, but they oh. worked something out for us, and <laughs> it worked out for us. So, uh, all, that's that's all the people upstairs <laughs> doing that job. I don't know how they did it, but we got lucky. And the last thing I've got, there's there's four receivers that came out, and I don't know how many receivers they think they could play. Like, as, as a player, is it was it was there some kind of rough reluctance to be like, I don't know if I should come in if there's a lot of guys coming in, or like I can make it, come in and make plays. Right? Um, that's definitely probably in the back of a lot of people's heads. Like, you don't know what could happen. But for me, like, I'm a competitor. I'm not going to shy away from any sort of competition. So if I got to compete to win the job, I'm going to compete to win the job. If I compete and I lose, all right, I'm going to. I'm still going to compete to earn that job or to win win that job back. So I, it, was, it never really made me shy away. My apologies been asked, but uh, what kind of led to your decision to transfer itself? Um. Well, as you know, I was at Cincinnati with Coach Fick and that staff, and um, they they ended up he had, Coach Fick ended up getting hired there, obviously. So um, I was like, I don't know. I was really there was a lot of uncertainty at Cincinnati after Coach Fick left. So I really yeah. I didn't really want to ride that boat for too long. So I just decided to enter the portal. And then like the second I entered the portal, I heard from Coach Brown. Probably the main reason I came here. I know what Coach Brown's about our relationship is. Like we have a great relationship. I've known him since I was a sophomore in high school. He's a person I can respect, a person I trust. So uh, that's probably my biggest decision. At Cincinnati itself, I mean, you worked in a room where Troy Tucker, a couple of, I mean, a couple of, a couple of dogs there. Yeah. How did that kind of help you kind of shape into the player you are right now? Yeah. So my first year at Cincinnati, I got, I was in a room with Trey, Tyler, Alec Pierce, who got drafted. Alec in Pierce 20. too, right? So yeah. So uh, I got to learn from those guys a little bit about. Each of them, what they all bring, and I, I try, kind of try to incorporate a little bit of what all they do into my game, and I feel like they've really helped me become a better receiver over these last few years. And then here itself, gotcha, gotcha. Here itself, one thing I've heard, kind of a recurring theme, you're getting back to where you were last year, where they expected you to take that jump last year and then before the injury. How do you feel, and what's kind of like, uh, are, are you, is that confidence back, and how, how have you kind of put it on the field now? Yeah, the, I've definitely said the confidence really is back for me. Um, I wouldn't even say, say it, it, the confidence probably came back uh, the second I got cleared to play again, just because I was always eager to get back out there and never really wanted to get hurt. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited for where I'm at. I'm excited for where this team's at and excited for what we can uh, do in the future, in this fall. Sweet. Thanks, Will. Perfect. You're good. Thank you.